Hi everyone, and welcome to your final lecture of the semester on rolling robots and culture. And this week, we are going to talk about robots and industrialization, and that connects back to rolling robots and empathy and rolling robots and gender. Now, in our history, we have many stories about the relationship between workers and machines workers and the robots that are being created to replace them. One of the cornerstone American folk tales is John Henry, who is the strongest, fastest railroad worker. And he takes on the machine to build tracks and he beats the machine, but he dies doing it. And we get this impending doom that eventually the machines will overtake the workers. Another book series that's been around since the 1930s and my little boys still love reading it, it's still in print, is Mike Mulligan. And he has a steam shovel named Molly. And Molly is an older model that Mike refuses to throw away. And he uses Molly to take on the bigger, stronger machines. And throughout the story, we get this nostalgia and this empathy for how machines and people used to work together, but eventually these bigger, better machines are gonna overtake them. But what we'll look at here is, while this narrative exists and can happen on a lot of different levels, right? Not only can we perhaps make a machine that can work better than a factory worker, or work better at making a hamburger than somebody working in fast food, but we have computers that can search through law history quicker than legal aides that work in offices. Ones that can scan databases for diagnoses better than doctors and nurses. Even ones that can perhaps program other robots better than computer programmers. So this exists beyond. With progress comes this idea of threats to American workers. But there's also the reality of the need to connect. How many people just hang up when it's a robot on the phone, right? As opposed to when someone is actually calling you and wanting your opinion on a political candidate. Are you more likely to take an automated survey or to talk to a person that's really there? That in so many ways, robots don't replace people. And sometimes a robot can help us. Perhaps a robot can be created that helps a worker do a job better and faster and in less time, so they get a little bit more time off. There's positives, there's negatives, there's tensions, there's hopes, there's fears surrounding industrialization, workers, and how robots could overtake our identities and our livelihoods. So let's see about both those tensions and also the opportunities that come with robots making our jobs more efficient and our lives better and easier. Okay, I am excited to see what you have to say both on the discussion board as well as the infographics. I will talk to you soon. Bye.